When we first got to Lubbock, full disclosure, I'd never even heard of Lubbock. I had to look it up. It's West Texas on the High Plains. I thought, okay, we're going to West Texas. And we got off the plane and thought, oh, well, this is different from where we're from. The whole flat landscape and everything about it, for me, was uh, quite an eye-opener. The Buddy Holly Hall is a multi-purpose arts complex in Lubbock, Texas. The first time I went to Texas, that's when it clicked for me. I could understand how community for them was so strong. You want to create this. That area birthed so many incredible musicians. The people in Lubbock say, if music lives in Austin, it was born in Lubbock. And they had never really had a truly great theater. I think we began to understand what Lubbock, Texas is, where we were. The building's named after Buddy Holly, and for 70 years, they've had this dream of an amazing venue that can live up to what he did, and they're getting it finally. In any good design approach, one takes into account context and content. And in the case of Lubbock, the context was particularly interesting. The whole swath of the town had been wiped out in a tornado in the 1970s and had lain pretty fallow for a long time. A group of citizens got together to do something to improve the quality of life in Lubbock, and that was to put this performing arts center right in the middle of where the tornado had swept through and demolished the town. The building's fundamental to their community. We want to feel that the building is issuing an invitation 24 hours a day, 365 days of the year. It's an invitation to visit. You start to feel the magic of a performance as you walk from your car. And the architecture takes that and with, with study and care and playfulness has made it into something that feels both at home in that environment, but also really novel. And so we have a contemporary piece that is the focal point to connect all of the public areas as you come in. And it, in a sense, gives coherence to movement. The idea of having that cluster of components around a common space is really vital. The point of a theater is to bring you close to beauty. Creating an intimacy between audience and performer is crucial. The audience should have a sense of itself, and thus the horseshoe form where the audience looks across at itself is a very important social dynamic. Fundamental to the work of Diamond Schmidt is this idea of a connection between people. There's nothing in that building that doesn't speak to its social dynamic, to its cultural component. So in a sense, this public space is a public plaza. To have something that was that versatile feel like for any one of those uses, you couldn't imagine a better space. And I hope we've captured that feeling in the building. The gesture that the, the people of Lubbock made in creating this complex is absolutely aimed at improving the quality of life of Lubbock. Texas time is slower and it's deeper. So I remember, you know, we were walking from the airport and the, the comment was, this smells like wide open. This was quite unique. Even from outside, from the landscape, your journey begins. The fact that we embraced that in the design I think already differentiated itself. Growing up there, there's a lot of great venues in Lubbock, but not quite to the scale and to the um, caliber that um, Buddy Holly Hall is going to be. Jose Trinidad sounds like a secret agent name. Yeah, it is. Awesome. He is. He is. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> they found out. They found out. <laughs> I think you got the opportunity to work more into the construction phase 
and sort of start to see it come to life. That was uh, that was actually around the time that I was briefly exiled in Australia. 